It's inviting the media to, quote, come see our new home on Android, end quote. There's an event for that this Thursday. There's speculation about what officials are actually going to announce. They vary from a Facebook phone, a real one, the hardware, to an updated Android app. In September, please remember, Facebook's co-founder Mark Zuckerberg made it very clear Facebook would not release a phone. He said, quote, Apple, Google, everyone builds phones. We're going in the opposite direction. Well, Mark Spoonauer is here. Mark, welcome back. Oh, thank you. Let's start with the possibilities of this announcement. Number one, they come out with their own phone, hardware. Is it going to happen? No, I don't think so. All right, hold on a second. <laughs> How about a new operating system? No. Not going to happen. <laughs> well, I know you've got your own ideas. What's Facebook going to say? So a lot of people are calling it Facebook Home for a reason, and the invite might tell people what Facebook wants to do, and it's delivering a new home screen experience on existing Android devices, but they might start out with HTC as a partner to You're highlight what this could be. Okay, hold on a second. Yeah. I've got my smartphone. Yep. I'm looking at the screen right mm -hmm. here. Right. What is Facebook going to do to the screen that I'm looking at if, if they yeah. do, do this new thing? Well, today you have to dive into an app, and they actually have multiple apps. They have a messenger app, and they have a camera app, right? So the idea is to aggregate all of those things with one home screen. So when you turn on your phone, you see all of your friends' updates, and you can interact with Facebook without the friction of having to do a couple of taps. They, so right now, when people look at their, their Facebook right. 14 times a day on their phone, this was from a study last week. So what Facebook wants to do is, okay, we want to be in their face more, and how can we monetize that? Oh, that's interesting. Now, now you're beginning to get, make me understand. <laughs> so I, I turn on the old sm uh, smartphone, right. yeah. uh, and there it is. Right. It's a Facebook a surface that comes at me. That's what I see first thing. I don't have to click to get it any place. It's right there. Right, and the default applications for things like messaging and camera would have Facebook integration built in, so like the whole user experience would feel a lot more like a Facebook experience. All right, how would they make money out of this? If, that, if that's what they do, right. how do they bring in cash? Well, the number one thing is to just get users to engage more, because there's a lot of reports about teens that are tuning out Facebook, for example. So if you make the home screen, it's like you can't avoid it. Facebook is in your face, and you're going to interact with it more because you see your friends' updates coming in. But what I see longer term is what they could do with things like location. So let's say you walk into a store like a Costco or something like that and say, you know, like this store today, and we'll give you 20% off while you're in the store. So what I'd like to see them do is leverage location and location-based offers. So they would establish a relationship with a retailer. Mm -hmm. It pops up on your smartphone screen, right. and you get a discount just because you've walked in. Literally exactly. Walked right. in. So you know, is that you, technically possible? Well, you can do it today on Foursquare, right? So you can check into businesses when you get in there, and there are can be there can be incentives for you to do that. So now, what Facebook, I think, what they want to do is get in on that action. Now, you think this is a good idea? I mean, a, a positive for, for Facebook in terms of future cash flow and usability of Facebook? Yeah, I, I think they almost have to do it because you see all these other applications like WhatsApp and other things. Instagram, they, they bought them for a reason. The idea is to not have people splinter off and start using other services like Google+. Plus. So in this case, they could be taking Android away from Google and making it their own. Now, Facebook stock recently dropped down to the $25 level. It's come down sharply. I remember at 32, I think either late last year or early this year. Mm -hmm. Is that because Facebook is no longer leading, it's actually following? What do you say? Uh, well, it comes to, when it comes to social networking, they're still leading. But the question is, well, what services are going to usurp them on the, on the mobile front? There are so many options out there. Uh, even on you know, Samsung, the Galaxy S4, there's so many things that you can do with that phone when it comes out that some people might be using social networking less. So they have to get out in front of this. So Facebook is still not quite what we thought it was going to be. Would you say that? I, I think they need to make it more pervasive, and this could be one way to do it. All right. Mark Spoonow, always good. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Okay.